Hi everybody, uh, it's Mr. Isaacs here. I teach game design and development in a middle school and I'm here with one of my seventh grade classes showing them how to use the 3D export tool in Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, what that does is it allows you to basically pull out any part of your Minecraft world in 3D to use in a number of ways. Um, you can put it in, um, in AR, in um, augmented reality. You could put it in Paint 3D and do things with it. Uh, my goal eventually is to put it in other environments like Unity and be able to walk around the model in VR or something like that. But for now, I'm going to show you how to pull that out and export it. So a couple of things. One is, if you notice, I have the coordinates showing, uh, which is very important when you're doing things that rely on coordinates. And in settings in Minecraft Education Edition, there's this nifty toggle for showing coordinates, which I love. Okay, and the reason that's important is sometimes you don't, you're not so sure of your frame of reference. So I want to make sure, because the way this tool is going to work, and I'll actually show you that, I'm going to give myself, give at self s structure block, okay? Because you need this structure block. Now, when I place this structure block, basically I'm going to want to pull uh, this flag and bank thingy over there out of the game, okay? So I place my structure block here, and I right-click on it. It asks me what size I want to export, meaning how far from where I am, you know, on the X coordinates, the Y, and the Z. So the X is essentially east, west, left, right. Y is up and down. Z is forward and back or north and south. I can also include entities and players if I like. I don't have to. Um, so that's the original setting I want. But before I start, I want to make sure that my, like in other words, I need to deal with only positives in the X, Y, and Z. Now the Y is easy because the Y positive is up, so I know that my Y is going to take me up, um, so that part's easy. But I want to make sure my X is and Z are the right, you know, direction. So if I'm at negative 10 here, and it's going negative 8, blah blah blah, that is going up there for the the Z. And now I want to see for the X that it's going up, which it is. So that means I'm in the right spot. Sometimes what you'll find is that this might be going up, but this might be going down, and then I just have to replace where I put the structure block so that it's positive in all directions for what I'm going to extract, okay? Now, I could also be smart here and say, okay, I'm at negative 9, 11, and I want to go to what on the Z? And I want to go to from negative 9, 11 to negative 8, 81... Nine, what did I say, 9, 11? That sounds like about 30 blocks for the Z. And I'm going to go from 82, let's say, to 92. Let's say to 102 here for the, the X. And the Y looks like about 15. We'll see. So I'm going to now go back to my structure block and define the part of the world that I want to extract or export. So I'm going to right-click here. And I think we said the X was going to be, what did we say? Anybody hear me? 20, let's say 20, 20. Let's say the Y is 15. And I think we said 30 for the Z. We could always adjust that. Now I click over here, and that's what got extracted in 3D. And it looks like exactly what I wanted. Um, okay, so there we have it. So I've got that. Um, and because I included entities and players, I got my player, I got the little wolf, and this NPC there. Okay, now um, I can now give this a name. I'll call it Bank 2 because I already have a bank already. And then once I do that and I go down here, I can export this. And I'm basically exporting it as a 3D object, as it'll tell you here. Um, but then I could do some nifty things with it. So I'm going to show you for now what you can do in Paint 3D with this. So if I go to Paint 3D and go to open, I can open this bank2 file, and it's going to bring it into Paint 3D, and it's still loading in, and once I get here, I can orient it however I like. I could write stuff using the tools in this program or whatnot, okay? Um, so there's a lot of neat things that I could do here. I could then save this in a number of ways too. 
So I could save it as a Paint 3D object, or or I can export it, I think, in a couple of other formats, okay? Um, the GLB seems to be its native format. I'm not so sure about the FBX and 3MF, <clears throat> but uh, these are different formats. I know, I imagine one will make it easier to 3D print it and things like that. So I'm going to save it as a GLB and save it again as Bank 2, okay? So there's that. Now... Another thing I could do is bring it right from Paint 3D, I think, into Remix 3D, which will open, I believe, maybe the, maybe it doesn't really. There's a, something called the, the, the um, Mixed Reality Viewer, which we could bring it in. Let me see what these are doing. Am I going to put this guy in here with me? I'm not sure. Maybe not. <clears throat> Let's see. Can I bring him in? Plus. Add. I don't know what that, nah, that, I don't know what that's doing. I guess I could add this into something. But anyway, forget that for a moment. What I will do is go into the Mixed Reality Viewer. And in the Mixed Reality Viewer, I can do similar things. Now, my camera right now is tied up, I believe, um, by the fact that I'm using it for this video. But from, uh, I can, whoop, enjoying this app, yes, very much so. Um, I can go into Mixed Reality, and if my camera was working, I would be able to see this in the real world and place it somewhere in the real world, okay? So that's kind of neat. And then there are a bunch of other options here. And do more with 3D, Mixed Reality, but again, I would need the camera, Remix 3D. And I'm not sure exactly what this would allow me to do. And then back to Paint 3D. We can save that. And there we have it. Um, before, I had found an interesting way to share it. Here it is. I can also then share this to Twitter, Facebook, etc. cetera. Um, I love to tweet. Um, loving the export 3D tool in Minecraft EDU. And I would tweet that out. What I really want to see happen eventually, and I don't know if, 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 if that'll happen, is I would really like for this to be in 360 so people that see it in Twitter can kind of manipulate it. I don't think you could do that right now. But anyway, that's where we are with this. Um, I really hope you start to use uh, the 3D export tool. That's funny. He, I thought he was over here before. He looks like he's over there. So anyway, enjoy, and thanks for watching.